Hey everybody, this is Lisa. Welcome to King Worldwide. I was going to take a break this week from this week from filming and I have had so many people on my heart and my mind that I just asked the Lord, can I please just do a little message today? And I had this actually written from the other day as far as a periscope and the Lord said, go ahead and just wait. So anyway, this is about pursuing him, pursuit of his presence. So normally I don't get on here and promote really anything but Jesus Christ. But this devotional is Jesus Christ. This is from the Copelands, Kenneth and Glory Copeland. You can go to kcm.org. The reason why the Lord wants me to talk about this, I have two scriptures, but everything that my dad and myself and my mom and everybody else in our ministry, we have all learned, hey, how are you, Gladys? We've all learned how to walk with God through the Holy Spirit, the Word of God, and this devotional. A lot of times, people, I see Joe, hi Joe. A lot of times, people, um, I do videos and explain how to read the Bible, what to do every day. Um, and we went through this quickly. But really, this is very important, the pursuit of his presence. Because really, his presence is the fullness of joy. And, let me see where this says. Yes. Psalm 1611 says pursuing him daily. Hallelujah. Thou will show him, show me the path of life in thy presence is fullness of joy. The right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. So, you know, this devotional, it's not about the people. Our ministry is not about us. Our, um, the books we read are not about the authors. It is about the word of God. That is who changes us. And it's the word of God is what we preach. And Jesus Christ is what we talk about. So this pursuit devotional has topics from um, finances, health and healing, relationships, and we are a testament that every single answer to every single question, detail, is found in the Word of God. When we know Him, spend time with Him. My dad is doing a phenomenal series on the prescription or recipe for your dreams fulfilled on Mondays. He and I both know, and my mom, we know that it's not about our dreams being fulfilled. It's about the Lord's plans being done. But most people think it's about themselves and how do we get something. So that is maybe, maybe a teaser title, but truly it is about walking with God. And he changed my life so much from the inside out, just like the article said, anyone that saw it in, um, the KCM magazine, but he truly radically transformed me. And it's and it's on the job. And it's an everyday life. It's not about, you know, just doing videos all day. It is about how, what to do when in your walk of life and what you're doing. If you're a nurse, if you're a teacher, if you're a stay-at-home mom, if you're a truck driver, if you're in ministry, not in ministry, it is it is walking and living with God so that we hear his voice. And respond in obedience. Not everyone, I mean, we are all part of the body of Christ. And so if we don't do our part, it, there's a missing piece. So the point is to hear God's voice and to obey him. And so this devotional helps with that. And I've been reading it, you know, probably seven years. Every year the same. I just have to get a new one because I like to write in them. The thing is, um, it's not a, it's not storybook. It's not a feel-good message. The truth sometimes hurts. The truth, God's word, it cuts like a scalpel, a surgeon's scalpel, and sometimes that hurts. But we would, I would rather have the truth and then decide versus getting feel-good messages. I don't want feel-good messages. They're not going to break down any barriers. Feel-good messages are just entertainment. And Jesus did not go around just entertaining. As a matter of fact, for those people that did not believe in Jesus, he could do no mighty works. And the whole point, and we can't either. So it's not about what we do. It's about us letting him live through us. John 3.30. We decrease, let him increase through us. So here are some a few um, days last week that the Lord told me to go ahead and read. And just give an example. And it's in everyday life. And everything we do, and that's right, everything we do is about obeying him first. It's not about us getting more successful us doing more for the gospel, us winning souls to Jesus, 
us doing this, that, and the other, those things are going to be sec secondary and tertiary compared to us obeying God, pleasing him. If we don't do what he tells us to do, um, we're going to be the ones that have to stand for that. And quite frankly, it's a lot easier just spending time with him and, uh, and being patient and allowing him to guide us because when he guides us, it's a lot faster, it's a lot clearer, and it's, and it's always victorious. When we try to do it ourselves and ask him to bless us, oh, Lord, help me with this ministry. Help me with this business. Help me with this. Do you know that is basically serving ourselves? We think that we can handle it. And that's just when we just are honest with ourselves, just let's let God do it. And let's let his word transform us. And even if we don't feel like getting in the word, we do it anyway, because that's the only thing we basically force ourselves to do until it becomes that we can't live without it. That happened for me, and if we haven't reached that, it's because we haven't spent enough time dedicated to the Lord and His Word. If we are not craving the Word of God, and I didn't for 30-some years, then we haven't tapped into something. We have There's something blocking. Either we're, think, we're reading the Word with trying to get our needs met, or we're not scheduling an appointment every day. The Lord taught me every day, can you not schedule an appointment with with me he's what he said just schedule an appointment and make that the number one priority and the amount of time and what you do with that appointment that's are going to be up to each person but can how much does that mean to God to just say you know what I'm with you every day at this time thank you Lord for being with me you know it's not about us it's about him and he is about us but it's just a simple matter of getting eyes off ourself and on to him. So anyway, in the um, devotional on um, the 19th of this month, it was 1 Corinthians 2.16. We have the mind of Christ. So a mind that's not under the influence of God, it's so simple, but I'm going to say it anyway, is in opposition to God. This mind, like that, always goes contrary to his ways, no matter what intentions are a mind that is not controlled by the spirit and of Jesus Christ is in opposition. Since God's ways are right, a mind without the anointing will think wrong. And sometimes these things might sound negative, but if that's how you look at it to me, it just tells me go back to God and his word. And we all know my dad is very gifted in, in speaking and in, in, is it orating? Is it talking? You know, he's a very successful businessman. That is how God created him to be. We know that my strengths are authenticity. Let's say it like that, rather than be negative about um, public speaking. It doesn't matter. The Lord told me, do what I tell you to do. And it makes takes all pressure off. But the liar sometimes tries to say, oh, yep, you're never going to be like your dad. And I'm like, well, first of all, I am very much like my dad, thank you, and my father, and Jesus. But second of all, that's not my calling. So we praise God for that. But at the same time, we can both be doing what God's telling us to do and both be getting results and It's because we're letting God be God in our lives. And it's not about being somebody else. It's about allowing God to be God through us. And it's the simplest, most successful, most victorious way to live. And I'm talking about on the job as well. It, it's There is this fallacy that Satan tries to just... Just to you know confuse the body of Christ in the past that we got to have it separate and that's what Lord, the Lord taught us that bring him there let him lead on everything we do and it's yes all wise and so this way it's all God and it's so much better all right pursuit in the um the 20th it was second Corinthians 4 13 we have the same spirit of faith that Jesus does so we have victory because God gives us protection healing light, prosperity, and freedom. Even in the midst of a world that could be dangerous, there's sickness and poverty and captivity. People with the spirit of faith always receive the blessing of God, the blessings of God. We may experience tests and trials, yet we come out victorious every time. And this pursuit, this pursuit devotional, you could go through, you don't have to read it every day. You can read it like 300 pages at a time. Thank you. So, oh, thank you, dad. Um, I know I'm great because I've decided to choose what God says about me. 
and I don't have a low self-esteem anymore because I've decided that he's in me and I can just turn to him. And I know I'm great because of that. It has nothing to do. You're living, you're living this in illness. I hope you're not ill. In the name of Jesus, we stand that you're well. We say that you're well. The word of God is well. Healing, whole, wholeness. And it doesn't matter what we're seeing on the outside. I'm so excited when I can tell you um, the victories that have happened in this month. Ever since the article of my parents on the cover of the magazine, it seemed like there was one awesome situation after another. And I was just like, had God's armor on, speaking God's word, refusing to give attention to the natural circumstances. But I'm telling you, it was interesting. But the greatest thing about it is that there is a process. If we believe God, then we talk about God. I wasn't going to give the liar any attention. He, it's a hologram. It's a pretend. It looks and feels real. We just have to decide, are we going to believe the word? Are we going to believe what we see? And the natural is always subject to the spiritual. Spiritual is always more powerful. And it's, a, it's, it's that simple. And be willing to stand forever. And be willing to stand and praise God for the truth and that's how it that's how it is and it's actually simple it's just a matter of disciplining oneself to do it and not listening to the lies the liar he is very persistent and he's very full of pressure and once you realize that that is not from god mm -mm. yes once we believe that that's not from god and understand then it's an automatic block when those lies and thoughts come in. And if we need to get extra rest or do extra things in the physical, eat a better diet or whatever, then we do those things. But we don't give in to him. So glory to God for this day. We'll see you in the morning with um, God's way of success with my dad and mom, Roy and Sally King. Okay, see y'all. Love y'all. This is fun. How it always lets me.